You're listening to Tim Bolkley's 5-Minute Bible. A text without context is dumb. Part 2. The surrounding cotext. Cotext is a fancy word for the verbal context of a text. You can see how dumb a text without a cotext is if you think about the conversations that I have with some family members. They chatter to me, and I don't know what they're talking about, because they failed to provide me with any cotext. They failed to give me information around their words that tell me what they're talking about. Which John are they talking about? For example, if they'd only told me, I'd understand what they were saying. A text without cotext is dumb too. In the case of the Bible, you get extreme examples when people take a verse or a sentence and rip it out of its cotext, taking something which made sense and making it dumb. Now that really is a daft way of reading, but people do it. Of course, they don't do it with this verse, do they? Three times the Bible tells us we should be atheists. There is no God. It's there in black and white. It's in Psalm 10, verse 4, Psalm 14, verse 1, Psalm 53, verse 1. There is no God. Of course, you need to take the sentence out of context. You need to remove the cotext to make it make this stupid sense. In the pride of their countenance, the wicked say, God will not seek it out. All their thoughts are, there is no God. Their ways prosper at times. Your judgments are on high out of their sight. You see, read it in the cotex and it makes perfect sense. Rip it out of its cotex and it makes a total nonsense. A text without cotex is dumb. Now, of course, no real Bible reader would make the stupid mistake of ripping such a tiny fragment out of a verse. But sometimes people do rip verses or even passages out of their cotex Take a look at Ephesians chapter 5, the famous passage where Paul talks about wives submitting to their husbands. This is a really interesting one. Go to Ephesians 5 and look at verse 22. You're allowed to look at the codex that follows it, but don't look at what comes before. So, Ephesians 22 and 23. Wives, be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, just as Christ is head of the church, the body of which he is the Saviour. Just as the church is subject to Christ, so also wives ought to be in everything to their husbands. And so it goes on. Ripped out of its preceding cotext like that, it's obvious what this passage is saying. The man is the boss, and women should obey. But, put the passage back into its preceding cotext, and you get a rather different picture. Even if you just read the verse before, giving thanks to God the Father at all times, and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as you are to the Lord. That puts a whole new slant on it. Wives are to be subject to their husbands in the context of every Christian being subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. That's different. Incidentally, here's one of my pet beefs about Bible translation publishers. Some Bible translation publishers stick a heading in between verse 21 and verse 22, making it quite safe because people will not read verse 22 in the context of verse 21 and they'll miss the whole point of what Paul is saying. Still, it supports one view of how Christian families should work, so let's do it. It doesn't matter if it rips the Bible apart. No, texts without cotexts are dumb. Reading a verse or a sentence or even a passage of the Bible without taking into account the text that surrounds it is just plain stupid, and we shouldn't do it. Texts without contexts are dumb. Texts without cotexts are equally dumb.